Hello, it is Monday, December 4th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Monday crossword, which means we're going to be solving a relatively approachable and a themed crossword today to kick off the solving week. So let's um, let's enjoy that. And as is generally the case on Monday, I have less time than usual. So hopefully this is indeed a nice gentle puzzle. It should be. And this presumably gentle edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by David Innes, Josh Lucas, Alex, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support, keeping this channel going, supporting this series. I really do appreciate it. So thanks to them. Thanks to everybody who's a patron of the channel. And thanks if that includes you. Um, if you would like it to, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video. There you can find the bonus videos available to patrons. And that includes this most recent mini puzzle pseudo speed solve. So check that out if you're a patron. And the Let's Check the Crosses official mug for benefactors. So thank you again to everybody who is a patron of the channel. And uh, also you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server. That's free, of course. And there's a link in the description field underneath the video. It's a nice friendly chat community. So do check that out. And finally, um, there is, of course, a <laughs> category of ways in which you can support the channel uh, indirectly, but in still in a very uh, significant manner. Subscribe to the channel on YouTube, comment on the videos, like the videos, and I really appreciate all of those little bits of support. So thanks if you if you do those things on a regular basis. And finally, now it's time to get on to the crossword itself. So this is a Monday-themed puzzle by Sean Zybarth, uh, who's constructed just a small handful of puzzles for the New York Times, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, see how we get on with this one. To abscond with something would be to steal it. Let's just see if we can confirm that. Upbeat precursor to reggae. Okay, that, that sounds like ska to me. And Scottish caps. This is, this has become a real favorite of the New York Times. Uh, Tams for Tam O'Shanter. Um, particular uh, cap that I suppose is associated with Scotland. So to abscond with, right, it does look like steel, doesn't it? Lake bordering Ohio and New York. Lake Erie, I would say, would be that. And radio band for news and talk formats. AM. So there's a, the AM and FM bands. Is that amplitude modulation and frequency modulation, I think, maybe? Um, in any case, AM does tend to be more associated with news and talk, whereas FM with music. Um, but what would be the rest of this answer? AM... I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the rest of it is. This looks like karma. The fate one deserves. Yes, there we go. The sort of concept of karma that what goes around comes around, I guess, essentially. And layered pasta dish could be... Uh, I'm not sure. should be obvious, shouldn't it? But maybe, maybe I'm not. Yeah, it's not to me at the moment. If something's not quite right, it's a miss. There's a little bit of a problem. Something's a miss. And to make history at the Olympics say, oh, this will probably be a themed answer, but I don't yet know what it is. Let's just go back up and solve the puzzle in the sort of ordinary order of clues. Cairo Cobras, uh, asps, I would think, certainly very much associated with, with Egypt. Bit of hardware that fits in a nut, a bolt, so nuts and bolts, referring to those bits of hardware. A bug on a pug, a flea, I guess, a pug, a dog could suffer from fleas. Like 2468, this is, of course, the set of even numbers. To wander is to roam or to rove, maybe? Rome looks more likely with these crosses. Let's see. From the beginning. Oh, maybe it's neither. Oh, no, 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 that, that is fine. Because it could be a fresh. And then tortoise-like, so tortoises are stereotypically... Well, and I guess in reality, generally slow. And kind of tree in the 12 days of Christmas. Of course, a pear tree, um, which hosts the partridge. Speedy delivery option. Same day delivery would be, be quite speedy. Don't do that dorky thing you do. Be cool, I guess. 
That's probably what this means. Don't be a dork. Finished. If something's finished, it's over, which this crossword soon will be. To give, or this crossword solve anyway. Give temporarily is to lend something to somebody. And an explosive Minecraft block is TNT, I would think. So one-fifth of a nickel would be a cent, right? A nickel being five cents, so one-fifth of that is one. To make history at the Olympics, say, would be to set a world record, right? And it, so, oh no, set a new record. Okay, I thought we were going to be doing something with, I don't know, a rebus or some kind of other thing. But no, it's simply set a new record. So, all right, I, I assume this is going to be relevant to a theme, but I don't yet know in what manner. You know, can't really think. Okay, we'll just have to figure it out later. Babes in the woods. So this will be a young animal, maybe? A colt? Um, Calvin and Hobbes, no, it isn't a colt. I didn't think it would be. Anyway, woods would be a bit odd for that. Uh, Calvin and Hobbes, for one, would be a duo. To, they're a pair in the comic strip, Calvin and Hobbes. So babe, babes in the woods. Oh, it's plural anyway. So cubs, a bear cubs. That makes more sense in terms of being in the woods. Okay, good. Sets down. Uh, lays down. If you lay something down on the table, say. La Brea Tar Pits. There we go. I've never been to La Brea Tar Pits, but it is a it's attraction that I've <laughs> of which I've heard. So there you go. All right, what about up here? A radio band, right? Oh, AM stereo. There it is. Of course. Okay. Just for some reason could not bring that to mind, but there we have it. AM stereo. All right. They can be boosted or inflated. You could boost or inflate someone's ego. Um, you know, talk them up a bit. Layered pasta dish. Oh, it's lasagna. <laughs> what, what did I, what was causing me not to see this? It's literally the most famous and commonly cited, at least, at least in the English language, it's certainly the most commonly referenced layered pasta dish. What on earth was I thinking not getting that in? I have no idea what that was about. That was so strange. Okay. Forget me nots, blue flowers. Sorry about that. So weird. Anyway, totally reverse one's losing position to turn the tables. Okay, so we have set a new record and to turn the tables. Oh, okay, so a record spins, a turntable spins. So I think this is something to do with vinyl records. Um, I don't know what specifically just yet, but let's keep going. Maybe just to play them, to set a new record, to turn the tables, to just different ways to refer to playing a record. Clan symbol. Um, a t well, I was going to say tartan at first because I think of the Scottish clans, but I guess it must be a totem on a totem pole. And I think totem was in the crossword just the other day as well. Okay, to impersonate to someone is to pose as that. Maybe it was in one of the minis. Like, eh, it might have been in one of the mini crosswords on the, the uh, Patreon channel. So are we, us two. Palindromic boy. Well, every time you get a palindrome clue, you can just duplicate, you can reproduce the letters you already have in the opposite position, so this makes auto. And then an experienced campaigner for short could be a, pol, a, polit a politician for short. And then summer zodiac sign is Leo. There we go. Okay, nowhere to be found for short. MIA, missing in action, I would think. And the content of a clickable envelope icon. It looks like email, a completely acceptable E word, probably the most acceptable <laughs> E word. Well, since you asked, you might say to someone who uh, brings up something you weren't going to automatically discuss, and then little energizers. So energizers being capitalized makes it look like a brand name. So it'll be the brand of batteries. So double A batteries could be little energizers. And then daddy's mama maybe could be a, a nana. So a, a grandmother, a father's mother. Play on the radio would be to air something, to broadcast it. And top of the line would be an elite, I don't know, manufactured good or athlete or something, although you wouldn't call a person top of the line, I don't think. Volcanic cloud component could be ash. Cloud of ash. 
And then, hey, you, pst, uh, you could say to get someone's attention. Or maybe not so much say, but vocalize. Followers, followers of an enduring philosophy could be Stoics, those who, who follow uh, the kind of classical Stoic, I don't know, way of life. Would you call it a philosophy? I suppose it's sort of, I suppose it is, I suppose it is a philosophy. Uh, silently greeted, nodded to, there we go. Cheeky could be a bit cheeky, a bit pert, a bit, um, you know, slightly sassy, I suppose. I think of sassy as being stronger than pert, but there you go. Have an impact that can be gauged to move the needle. There we go. Okay, so these are all, I see. So this is a sort of, is this in order how you're kind of putting a record on the, on the turntable maybe? Turn the tables is odd in between set a new record and move the needle though. You put the needle on. Well, no, I guess, no, you could start moving it before you put the needle on. Yeah, in fact, no, that, that does make sense. Sorry, I just wasn't thinking it through. Yes, okay, so you put the record on, you start it spinning, then you put the needle on, and then maybe something will happen about sound soon. Okay, so energy needed to power through could be strength or stamina. Stamina is better. Historic stretch could be an era of history. And if you blew off steam, you vented. There you go. Gracious me. Egad, maybe? A slightly sort of quaint, light oath. Prepared one's home for a newborn. Nested, I suppose. So maybe, yeah, maybe it is Egad. Sonic the Hedgehog Company would be Sega, the publisher of the Sonic the Hedgehog games. And Loose Leaf Alternatives would be tea bags. So Loose Leaf Tea or Bagged Tea. And then here to keep going without faltering one bit would be to, uh, this is going to be the end of the theme probably here. Keep going without faltering one bit. Oh, I can't think what it is. Uh, to, oh, don't miss a beat. I will keep I don't quite understand how the verb conjugation fits. Oh, they keep going without faltering one bit. They don't miss a beat. Okay, sorry. It does It does work. It does work. Okay, so don't miss a beat. Or you could tell, I mean, I guess more accurately in the case of this, it's kind of an imperative. You're addressing someone. You're saying, keep going without faltering one bit or don't miss a beat. I mean, it doesn't need to be that, but that's how I'm choosing to think of it. Anyway, all right, so we have set a new record, turn the tables, move the needle, don't miss a beat. These are basically instructions. That's why I say you're addressing somebody. This is a list of things to do uh, to set the record going. And I guess at the end, I don't know, it's just a bit of encouragement or something. Can't really do anything actively to that end, I don't think. But there we go. All right, handout following a shuffle could be... doesn't mean like a government minister shuffle. You'd hand out a brief or something. Hand out following a shuffle. Not quite sure I see what that one is. Okay, sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's shuffled cards. You, you deal cards. Sorry, I was on the wrong track in time. For some reason, I was thinking of political sort of parliamentary political usage. Anyway, bygone in Chaucer's Tales. Old, I would say, with that with that old timey E at the end. And then shoulder muscle informally dealt, deltoid muscle. Oh, right, and here's a revealer. Oh no, it isn't a revealer. It's just an extra bit of the theme, I suppose. Workers at dance clubs who set a new record, turn the tables, move the needle, and don't miss a beat. Those would be the DJs, of course. There we go. So these are the instructions for the DJ. And then mineral known as the imperial gem is jade. There we go. Um, in reference to uh, its use in Chinese uh, culture and history, presumably. And then what a toddler in a snowsuit might be pulling, might be pulling a sled. Oh, sure it is. I bet you could say sarcastically. Info on a hello tag would be one's name, of course. Like Death Valley's climate would be arid, uh, very dry. And then letter-shaped beam would be an eye bar. 
truckers ride a big semi-truck and then allow entrances to admit somebody to allow them in. Bullets and such are ammo, ammunition, and a feature of a tall cake would be tier. You could have a, a tiered wedding cake or something, and then you'll never know until you try, as they say. And here we have, oh, this is wrong. Silently greeted. It's not nodded to, it's nodded at. Sorry about that. So a Nintendo enthusiast could be a gamer, someone who plays video games, and then a child's bedtime request would be a story. And there we go. That is going to be a solution. So that was the Monday puzzle. I think indeed a fairly a fairly gentle solve um, and uh, a nice simple theme. One of these themes that really until the end basically solves itself. I mean, here, I guess, I don't know. It, you could solve DJs with simply workers at dance clubs, I suppose. Um, it does reference the rest of the theme, but most of the theme is completely self-sufficient. Each of these answers is simply clued in the, the ordinary fashion and you fill it in. So we'll set a new record, turn the tables, move the needle, uh, and won't miss a beat. And those are the things we might uh, expect of DJs, workers at dance clubs. And there we go. A nice, simple Monday theme. And it's impressive that these are all precisely the same length. Look at that. That's, that's, that's well done. And um, does that, do we think that looks like a turntable or anything like that? Can't quite tell. I mean, they certainly are, I don't know, they're, they are sort of vertical, uh, sort of horizontal platters. So I don't know, you could maybe argue there's something going on there. Maybe someone has a better interpretation of this grid uh, than, than I can muster. But there we go. That was the Monday crossword. Very nice, nice, simple theme. And uh, we've kicked off the sol solving week in an approachable and gentle way. And that's what we want on a Monday. So there we have it. That was the crossword. Join me tomorrow for the Tuesday edition of the New York Times crossword. Should be another relatively approachable solve. So let's find out. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Thank you.